Welcome to Sailing Kuru. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that like button. Ria and I have set out to circumnavigate our planet in our sailing catamaran Kuru with no sailing experience at all. If you like our content, please hit that little bell to be notified whenever we upload new videos. So to make this episode work, we have to back up a little bit. Back in Puerto Petro, Mallorca, we took on my cousin and his family, we sailed up to Puerto Colón, meet up with a good friend of his, checked out the caves of Bregonera and waited for a good weather window to cross over to Menorca. We left Puerto Colón, turned back because it was still too rough, waited in a couple of days and finally sailed over to Punta Blanca on the north coast of Menorca. We decided to head to Ciutadela to let them leave the boat so that Ria and I had core to ourselves for a whole week since April. <laughs> what a bliss! Mahon is the second largest naturally formed harbor, right after the famous Pearl Harbor on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. In 1708, Menorca was captured by the Brits and remained theirs for almost 50 years. The island was lost to the French in 1756 in the naval battle of Menorca. After their defeat and the Seven Years' War, France returned the island to the British in 1763. These wars went on for 40 years, with the island being passed back and forth until 1802 it was back in Spanish hands and remained Spanish ever since. Today it has a thriving tourism and is especially appealing to sailors due to its flat landmass. There is always enough wind on the lee side of the island to sail, but without the nasty swell. Oh, and it's said to be the birthplace of mayonnaise? There is a wall coming at us. <laughs> So I booked a berth on a fl floating pontoon here in Mahon Harbor uh, for a couple of nights because uh, we have a friend of ours coming and we needed to get some water in the boat and clean it and everything. So I booked this floating pontoon berth for 110 euros, which is extremely expensive, but still for the season and the island, it's pretty affordable actually or not affordable but it's pretty cheap so um, I booked this uh, for two nights and we came in two nights early or two days early because uh, of bad weather so uh, they gave us another berth on another floating pontoon and they have just slightly wider berths so we only needed one that means um, it was half the price so uh, I just went to the marina office and asked if we could stay there because we like it so much and uh, 
they said yes absolutely no problem cancel the other one so we're staying for half the price <laughs> which is very very cool I love it and that gives us the opportunity um, with our budget to even rent the car they have uh, quite reasonable reasonable prices for their rental cars so we're gonna rent the car uh, get some shopping done and um, do some exploring by car. It's uh, it's supposed to be a very beautiful area here. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, excited to see a little bit more um, of Mahon and the surroundings. We are going for a shower, and uh, we Carl is. Anchored at the west swimming platoon, this side, uh, next to Isla del Rey, and the showers of the marina we are allowed to use, they're at the very end of the bay, so it takes us about 10 minutes with the dinghy to right there. Yeah, and then we go and walk up to the center and do some laundry. We had to do it, uh, you know, in two times because it was too heavy the loads to carry, so let's do it again today. Mao is very sailor friendly in some ways. Right in the center of the harbor you have a dedicated dinghy dock where you can tie up for free. An inviting promenade with lots of bars, restaurants and cute cafes meanders along the harbor basin. To reach the old town of Mahon you have to climb stairs at some point. <laughs> Once again it's so super freaking hot so uh, we have decided to uh, um, stop <laughs> wandering around in the concrete jungle here. Um, have a drink and afterwards go and uh, do some more laundry. It is a very beautiful town I have to say and also the fish market is nice super pricey like everything on this island I unfortunately have to say but um, yeah it's it's very nice you can see the colonial um, influence from from back then uh, the British influence from back then it's really really cool to walk around and I hope we get some more nice shots of uh, of uh, this the architecture of this little town it's beautiful I'm so hungry are you hungry I am we're going we found this um a uh, fish market and should be like um, poqueria from Barcelona and let's go. <laughs> you have just, something to say? No, just, just fooling around. <laughs> okay, so hungry food, drink. Now. but it's like three times the price than we paid in Barcelona for beaches. Hope they're good. We strolled around a little bit more until the heat beat us and we made our descent down to our tender and back to Coru. Mahon is a very beautiful town with a lot of history. Even though everything is rather expensive, it's worth a visit if you're on the island. Next up on Sailing Kuru. Ria and I are checking out Fort Marlboro on top of a hill right next to Mahon Harbor. That's the pirate life! <laughs> Take a sweet hike in Menorca's National Park as Grau and hope to find all kind of stuff. There is maybe a kangaroo coming out of the trees any moment. Ghost 
faces, Some skulls, or dragons, but mainly like evil stuff. Tortoise. We pick up Sybil from the airport and find ourselves a nice bay to tuck in to celebrate Swiss National Day. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time. These videos are made with love and are dedicated to everyone who is not yet ready to cut the lines and sail off into the sunset. To everyone who seeks adventures and dreams of pure freedom and endless summers. To all of you free spirits and wandering souls, see you out there.